go down, all you can do is sit there and watch and wait for the updated scoreboard. In before Ghost Legion win this game with 30 points and does nothing to their score and everyone else goes, what? In before it goes military. Oh, don't. <laughs> <laughs> At least this time they can fly wherever they want. So uh, there's a fair chance for everyone to go to their designated loot spots. Northern Knights Gaming. Kameshki. Alongside, not fair. Hmm. Now for Northern Lights, you're probably not going to be out of the points, right? You're a, you're a fifth now. You're in oh, a yeah, spot. Yeah, like, for them, it, that's fine. It. But not fair. It's less than ideal. Looks like Game of Legion are going back to where they've done before. Seems like Stella and not fair. Well, not fair. They couldn't go that far north, obviously, because they got contested and they have so yeah. much to play for. So they don't want to try and contest anything. <laughs> but other than that, everything is pretty much as per usual. No craziness. We're sticking to our guns. Not yet, at least. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but where does this next circle go? That's oh. going to be the real one. Because mm. Northern Lights, they've gone, we've gambled once again. Are we going to magnet ourselves away? It's like they're the polar opposite of a magnet. Northern Lights and Not Fair are the only two teams that has gone military. Right? Yeah. You can see right here, there's not a single soul on that island. Three seconds to go. Okay. Ooh, okay. Central, we get central, as fair as can be. Yep. Stella, they get to sit dead center. They need this one. And, well, I mean, there's not a lot more to do than just wish for a really, really good PUBG that uh, is fair for everyone. Of course, that never happens. You will also always have the teams that get like, hard shifted away from you a billion times in a row. But uh, looking forward for a good final match. And I know you guys out there aren't doing the exact same thing. So spam some love in the chat for whatever team you do support. And let's hope that those guys that you're cheering for make it into the finals next week. And that's what it is, right? This is only the first part. This is just getting yeah. the eight teams to the playoffs. This isn't even getting you to the finals. Next week is where the real test of these teams' strength yes. begins. And that is the storyline ahead of our ending here. But who is going to be the final teams through? All is not as it seems. But certainly for Northern Lights, they're going to feel like, okay, we made a better decision this time. It's not going to wait from us <laughs> just yet. Now yeah. we just need to play to perfection. That is exactly it, right? Can you do it? All these teams that are within the grasp of either making it or not, they've had insane performances. They've also had really rough games too. So mm -hmm. they know both this case. Like, they know they're capable of both things. And right now they're just thinking, what have we done? What made those games good that we did good in? What did we do correctly that we didn't in the other games? Was it just that one unlucky situation where we could really do anything about it that we should completely forget about or is there something that we can take away from those good games that we should do and utilize now because well this is your last time to do it 23 games out just one more to go now i know points don't matter for tornado right but i'd love to see if they make it now again into like top four because yeah. they've had every game yeah. has been just crazy from them they've looked so good and just over the last week, they've just been on another level. And that's another race to look at, right? I mean, it might not make that bit of difference in the overall aspect of things in the grand scheme. But for Sukta, now I'm for Tornado Energy. Well, they got a bit of a race going. I mean, they're pretty tied in points right now. Bragging rights. Who's yeah, the top of Group B? For sure. Imagine double CIS on the top of things. You got Avangai in Group 1 and you got uh, or Group A. And you got Tornado Energy trying to see if they can make their way up on there in Group B. CIS teams will be saying, what up now, Europe? We're yeah, here, they we're just here lost to stay. They, yep, they just lost themselves uh, four to one a few days ago. CIS to EU. EU, by the way. Woohoo! And, uh, well, I mean, this is our chance to get it back. <laughs> Those are some crazy settings, though. <laughs> <laughs> That's the most unreasonable settings you've ever heard, but a lot of fun to watch. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, in, in any case, it's uh, it's right now one to zero. So uh, we'll have to have to see, thinking that we reset the scoreboard at, at 2019, of course, because CIS has a thing for winning big events they just tend to i don't know why but they just tend to be pretty decent at uh, at winning winning events but nonetheless let's focus and watch the game at hand ness in a good position tries to do some damage for the people uphill unfortunately for him 3d max they ain't opted to stop on the hill and trying to shoot back because they want to go for more center position rather than sitting in cube and i'm down for that because too many times we've seen 3d max walk away with mm. a player getting knocked down and finished off early on the only difference is noki's a little bit further away still outside the circle as of yet he's not started his rotation with the rest of his team so he's just looting up a little bit more biding his time but i don't want to see him be the one that's picked off because fenerbahce's nearby you've got seacog that will rotate out soon as well but he could be pinned down side games here on their rotation 
Trying to get things going the way you saw Strelovic almost pulling off that 1v4 last game. Absolutely insane performance by him. Some might call that a bit of a blunder from Game of Legion. But looking at the replay, honestly, they played it pretty smart. Split two guys on either side of the smoke. They know he was down there. And, uh, well, it was just Ostrich just pulling it off. I mean, he yeah. just played it insanely well. I think that would have been the most mental clip I'd seen if he had actually won. Yeah, that would have been insane. That, I just, wow. And that goes to show that it's never table. over. It's never over. No, never. All it would have taken him to get a couple headshots in there and that's lights out. Mm -hmm. you're, you're done for. It's all over. It's, it's time for them to shine. And what an impressive play that was. If we can get an ending like that again, I'm going to be very satisfied <laughs> with what Group B's delivered today. Not only is it crazy close, but they also keep it right down to the wire. Crate coming in here. Should be easy pickup for Ghost Legion. Team currently sitting, I believe, in the last place. So yeah. a little bit of a farewell gift saying, you know what? You did as well as you could. And of course, they're not uh, they're not out of the mix just yet. They have the relegations to play for. And for a team that is trying to make it into the finals, that, my friends, is not the way you want to start this game. I'm saying nothing. Yep. I'm just going to go no on the Ghost Legion just, yeah, point. Yeah, yeah, is yeah, that yeah. Ghost Legion, right? For now, this is you to make the most of this practice for when you do have to go through the relegation games, exactly. right? Because, yes, you've not done well here, but take this lobby, which is a stacked lobby, very seriously going into the next. The Arshtek Warriors, they would need something like a 20 kill victory if they want to make it in. Unlikely, but again, crazier Ooh, things nice has happened control. before right now that we're under a lot of fire from Ghost Legion. Oh, we had nice control there. Managed to get a nice few shots off. Yeah. Do some serious damage. He won't get any of the knocks or kills, but he's forced them away, at least for now. And it's all about the positions we grab here, because when the next circle pops, still got two minutes to go, but when that next circle does pop, it's going to be where we go. And we're going up north, we're going down south. How is it going to play out? Zostek Warriors fire back onto Ghost, and YMD mm -hmm. takes the knock. Nice shot, shot there. I assume we didn't get to see them, but it's always impressive when you have long range taps with the DMRs. Uh -oh. Page under fire once again. So good now I'm seeing them in fights early on in the match. They're a little split apart here with two guys being in the yellow houses and the other two guys being on the southern side of the street down towards Pachinki, but does manage to disengage and run back towards his teammates. That was some serious distance as well. Mm -hmm. Good shot. Very nice. I've always wondered if it would be a smart addition to the game because reses take a long time, right? If yeah. you commit two people to res a guy, should it like narrow bring him, faster. Up, bring him yeah. back up faster? Because it's also diff like dangerous for you to do yeah, because no cover fire, you have less cover and you have two guys committed to a res, right? So so should it allow for you? It's just, just, just an idea if you're PUBG developers sitting out there watching along. Just just an idea. Let us know what you think of it. Just, just an idea. Plus the travel though, far enough. Still looking to... Make sure he can push players around. Now, Seven are a team that we said was so aggressive at the beginning. Their rotations at times were a bit more questionable, but they have still got engaged in these fights. Just a little bit smarter this time hmm. around. Hero Energy, the team of the day, that's for sure. Insane oh, yeah. performances, top three across the board, getting himself a win in that as well. Really, really impressive. And if everything goes down to it, winning game one, second place game two, third place game three, well, why don't they just snatch themselves a third, fourth place in game number four? That would be Ooh. as perfective as can be. But now, as we see once again, Oshtek under fire. They did manage to get a knock onto Buster, but in the end, Dictator does go down. There was a trade as well. And also, you've got Tornado firing at you. This is not looking good for the Oshtek Warriors. You yeah. said they need 20 points. Well, they're going to need a hell of a lot more <laughs> than that. They need some good luck as well. You've got two big hitting teams firing straight up on into you. Yeah, the CIS twins here splitting off on each their side of the hills, and they're just saying, you know what, there's no passage through here, that's for sure. So Antlo and Abo all by themselves. Let's see what they can do in the final game here. Well, Antlo says, I'm getting the hell out of him. I'm going to try and regroup and just move away, but they're going to walk straight into Ghost Legion as well. Look at Game of Legion. They have never played as slow as they do right now. No. Never, ever. They're playing it so slow, so cautious. They do not want to get into any confrontations. If you can't see them, they're on the south, south, south side of this one. Now they're going to start rotating, but they would have been way up center at this point had it been any other match we've seen. And we're still with the circle, a straight 50-50. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the Nothing's next circle, sure. it has to shift away, right? But it's going to be, again, it could go either side. So Riddle will probably just sit there and chill for a bit. Seacall Glove to hold this position where they got the bridge. And interesting enough, Fenerbahce, the team is going to go all the way around. So they're going to wait for the rotations of other teams because yeah. they can see already what's going on. I might just want to keep one side, like one, one split on either side. You see Bull in now. Trying to see if he can land some shots on towards the rotating team in Outlaw and his teammates oh, no. from Oshtek. But once again, under so much fire, and they just cannot seem to catch a break in this final game whatsoever. 
Yeah, the only break they're catching is the legs as they hit the floor. Mullman shooting them away, and that's going to be a very difficult position for Oshtek to require from Abbo's the only one left alive. As Zaxi walks straight into Paige and says, all right, this is obviously occupied. I don't really want to deal with this. And Zen back on the hunt for some further frags. They want to make sure that they do hold on to that number one spot. Side games, they've got themselves into a good position here as well. And down and out goes Arshtag Voris. Big kudos, though, to the boys. They almost made it. They were close. They had some good performances. Didn't get themselves the win. But a great representation coming out of Saudi Arabia, that's for sure. And we'll be, I'm for sure, seeing a lot more from them coming into the next couple of weeks. No doubt. And you know what's interesting? Stella getting a few more kills here. That's already applying the pressure yeah. point-wise to Game of Legion, who are now only just moving back in the circle. And they're just playing ever so cautiously. The problem is, Toby, could they play too cautiously here? That's the thing. You don't want to make too much room for your opponents because you might just see yourself fit on the edge. And if you don't get any kills and you God, I mean, we see by the time that we end up in the position where we have sort of position, like placement points, yeah. you normally only have 20, 25 players alive at that point when we're down to eight teams. So if they keep being on the edge like they are right now, if they find them even more so on the wrong side of the water, they could be going down with zero kills later mm. in the game, and that might only grab them a point or two, and that could be what Stella needs. Yeah, and like we said, right, there's already teams that position themselves to get ready for mm -hmm. this push. So mm -hmm. like Seacorp, if you try to go over their bridge, they're going to gun you down. You know if they go on the other side, you've got Ghost Legion there. So Ghost Legion is occupying two of the bridges the way across. The Tornado are looking to potentially go over once this next circle does pop. This next circle is going to decide a lot of decision making. It sure will. It's going to tell us what side most likely at least the circle is going to bounce to this one. This one is not guaranteeing to go out of the water. The next one is though. Fun about you. I hate to see it, but uh, well, I mean, you've been doing a lot and that might be part of the reason why you're sitting at 89 points. I'm actually going to go through all the videos from each group and count how many stupid car decisions and what it's cost you. Because potentially right now it's going to cost Fenerbahce their lives, yeah. their hopes and their dreams because Riddle start firing up into them. And yes, you can throw the smokes down, but look how many shots are coming out. Bullets galore. Hannibal gets taken. He, well, he's taken down Shaxi. Nearly takes down Kalimdor as well. He's just been knocked. The BSD is going to come into it, but they're continuing to fire. Why are you not letting him try and crawl into cover here? Zonk's trying to fire back, but this is not going to work out. They almost just lost three players off of one stupid mistake with people running into each other in the vehicles. Yeah. I get it's tricky getting into those compounds, but just I mean, make a schedule about it. If you're coming in together, say you go off first, you go off second, you go off third. There are so many ways to avoid running each other over. New circle pups. And well, we've seen this circle in this lobby so many times. I believe oh, this is the yes. fourth time we see this one. Sure, we had the first time around where somehow it jumped up north, but uh, I would assume to see the next one go south once again. All these teams, they've been here, they've tried it before, and they know what's at stake. And there's a lot of space towards the south still, right? Game yeah. of Legion within the circle, gonna mm. be sat there screaming and shouting, saying, thank you, thank you, <laughs> PUBG gods, you've made it work for us, yeah. and we are still holding on to our spot. Holding on, at least for a little while longer. Wacko trying to see if he can get that vehicle all the way over. Sometimes it works. This time around, though, not quite the case. You see right here, for not fair, they're sitting at a tie with Stella. 24 points. They don't want to go out now, and they're up against Tornado Energy. Yeah, Tornado firing up into them. We'll have to back away because more shots are coming into them as well. Inside games are going to have a pop. And this is the problem where you've got this part of Verozok where mm -hmm. actually there's about four or five teams here that are all going to shoot in from each other as soon as you make any noise. So Tornado is going to struggle to get the drop on them. And while we're talking about two teams being tied at points, what we can mention really quickly as we see Genso go down is that should we have eight and ninth place tied in points, it's going to be the teams that has the most kills throughout the entire 14, 24 games that's been played. Just a quick info for you guys. If it's a tie, it's the most kills that's going to be the difference maker. A tie, what a way for it to go down. We if never it came to that, it's never certainly know. possible, but my oh my. Now Hodge, he's watching Hanny, bro. He's waiting for him to stop moving a little bit more. He's going to take the shots just yet. He's being tagged up quite heavily by elsewhere, though. And it's Zen who's going to get the damage done. Personal courage there as well. And you are just being fired at from all sides here. What are you going to do? Where are you going to find some cover? No, no. Oh, God. And Dino, he finds Zin Zan with a car. <coughs> Guys, don't do this, please. I, 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 <laughs> oh, I've got nothing to say anymore on it. That, 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 sure, that one was unfortunate. He kind of spun down the hill differently than what you would have expected to do, and he was looking the other way, so he couldn't really dodge it. But just when you know your team is there and every, you, uh, Yeah. 
Yeah, Chat him on just... Discord, jump, run, move, move to the right, get out my yeah, way, it's... anything. It was an unfortunate situation, that one I'll give them that, but it's just there's so many ways to dodge these sort of things. Sinson gets himself finished off with an 8 there as well. Knocked again, I guess you could say, and for 3D Max, on the tons of fire, and Hitrick can't get out of it alive. What is Hitrick doing? He tries to jump in, and then he just gets pinned down completely. His teammate has to run off with the car, and he's going to pop up and hide behind the tree. But this area they're all fighting for, it's just really not worth it. Look at what's happening down south as well. You see C-Class, they've pushed down towards Gamer Legion, and believe me, should Gamer Legion go down, a team in Stella, a team in Nut, Fair would be like, you know what? Everything just became that much more exciting. Yeah, see Korg. They've seen what's going on here. Game Legion are trying to be quiet and trying to stay out of these fights. They don't want to get into it. Legion, they're barely inside the circle, and now the entirety of Sieg Org are making their way down towards them. It could be a lot of important points coming in for them, but should they lose players here, it could also be extremely dangerous for the exact same team. Riddle trying to make a rough rotation. Sinsen goes down, and Dino tries to send forward. Well, you're going into a compound with two teams already. Might just want to turn left, and that's exactly what it does. Yeah, he does not want to get involved in that. Now, one team that's still in a very good position to try and do well here is Stella. They may need 10 points, but they've got school, they've got the area to hold on to, and they are within the circle. Look at the ride that he's going for. Riddle, down and out they go. They won the first game of the tournament, but nothing else really was amounted after that, unfortunately, for the guys there. Can't make a whole lot more of it. 12th is where they will see themselves ending. Seacorp being pushed away here. So I get the cars to use some little bit of cover. Firefights going on everywhere. Tornado's got involved. 3D Max as well. Tornado get eliminated in 14th place. They've had some fantastic games today, but they will not be catching up with Soken. Oh, Eggy with a double nade right there. There's a lot of damage being done with that nade. Gets himself the elimination onto 3D Max. Yet another team that's most likely in the top. There already you see them sitting in fifth place. Should be safe for that one. But for Higgy. Trying to stay alive at least for a little while longer as him and Copas trying to grant themselves any sort of cover possible. Now Game of Legion were actually able to grab themselves a kill there, so an additional point regardless during that fight. They don't have to leave their compound just yet, but they are right on the edge of the circle. Seacorg actually started to engage them and then backed mm. away, moved around, and now they've nearly been wiped out. It's going to be tricky for Game of Legion to get themselves any position to move on forward. Stella, they've been at the school for a long time now, and they will have indeed to move at some point soon. Look at the position from Six. It's a smart spot to be, unfortunately for him, not really seen Ooh. by anyone, but gets himself a knock. A lot of important points to be taken, but it's going to be Northern Lights to say, you know what, I know you need the points, but let me just get in there and steal that one away from you. That is one that they are going to hate to see. More nades are going to be coming out. Stella are hungry for these kills, but if they overextend the combatants that it's open, they could find themselves taking a lot of extra damage here. Trejo's trying to fire off against them, but Jamboway is going to get the knock. Can they get the kills, though? They can't afford for these to be stolen away from them. Stella, they need all the points they can get. And there's a very close fight happening right now. Six does get his HP back up. Trejo might not be able to get rest here. Golpi, though. With the nade on the other side, up the road right here. Oh, damage coming from the backside now as well. Cass gets himself knocked. Not what you want to have happen. He's trying to crawl back in into safe, but you can see the deep from the roof of apartments. Trying to chime in and do as much damage as he can. And now the push comes in for Golpi. Three HP and still pushes on forward. Just barrel out all of those nades. They're trying to get the res on go. This could be huge. Kaz might go down. <gasps> That's exactly what happens. And Sixy gets knocked as well. Stella, they've got to be oh so cautious here. That was close. Six, he might just be able to get back up on his feet, but holy cow. Had that been a triple nug instead of just a single, it would have been all onto Mole Man to secure themselves that entire one. Because right now, we got Game of Legion on the far edge of the circle, and they're being heavily pressured by personal courage. If Goldby had more health in that situation, wow. I think he could have won that, because he had three nades there, yeah. could have barreled them out, and then just sprayed the last one down. Very tight play there, and that's what Ghost Legion is in 16th place. They were looking to just cause the problem. Mm -hmm. That's the thing. It's not always about what you can do. It's about what other teams will try to do to you. I'm sure still will be loving this circle right here. Of course, people could be pushing down towards school, but at least for now, all they have to do is sit tight and not let anyone get inside, because that one with Ghost right there got a little too close for comfort. Stella just need eight points to even up with Game Legion, and they're in a very good position within school, yeah. within the circle still. 
this is all for them to play for. It's Gamer Legion who are now going to have to engage and move out a little bit. And they're very close to Personal Courage who have been taking shots at them for the longest time. And they're straight away getting on the vehicles and trying to get out of there, trying to reposition themselves around before this circle comes in. They do not want to take this fight unnecessarily. Look at the push oh! coming in. One player down already. That's Makan. No rest. Going to be coming in for him, for Bjorn and for Timber. They need to do something off of this position. They have Hamster in the compound as well, but now they have the entirety of Personal Courage to deal with. They have to take this fight and they have to do it smart. Zoke and Nam also fighting on some of the personal courage players. And this is where it gets really tight. Sixy getting the knock onto Elderways. But the question is, can they get the kills? They've had so many stolen away from him already. Yeah, not a whole lot more Edelweiss can do there. There you go. Now coming in return as well, Sixy. Hopefully he'll be get dressed from his teammates. I would assume that he's in the audit aud auditorium area, it's called. And he should be able to get healed back up. But there you go. One more point. It's these one point things that's going to make the difference in the end because they're slowly, slowly, slowly crawling ever so close. They're still eight points behind. But they are nearly within the top eight as well. Mm -hmm. Sadly, Gamer Legion is still alive for Stella. Yeah. So if you're a Stella fan, you want Gamer Legion to be taken down very soon. But they are playing a very slow, steady and cautious race. The problem is it could be too cautious because they're just not getting kills. Not further in it as well. 126 to 127. Nothing's decided yet at all. Seven, they're still in it. And if there's a team that Mole Man and still wants to eliminate, that's them. Because should Game of Legion be an issue for them, well, at least seven is the next team to beat. They do have a chance. And look at this. 3D Max Seagog all at 146. Yeah. This could be very, very different should two of these teams manage to pull on up top. Now, what's crazy is Oak and Nam are over to the west side of the circle, and they are firing at everyone. Yeah. Inside games, <laughs> Phoenix, Personal Courage, they don't care. They've got, like, crossfire on crossfire on crossfire to try and get into this. Zoke and Nam are just saying, we're just going to extend our lead a little bit further, you know. We want the highest points out of <laughs> anyone throughout the groups well, getting into playoffs. Tornado Energy did get eliminated, so why not continue to do what you've been doing the last couple of weeks, and that is secure yourself a ton of kills and wins with it, too. Okay, Malaysian are trying to make the push on the personal courage here as well. Your circle's popping just about 15 seconds, and we see how many teams and how many players are still inside Rasak. For all these guys crossing the road, it's going to be so deadly. We have all of uh, Phoenix that is on the southern side of the road, and they will have to fight each other trying to cross as well. Now, new circle is popping. Where are we going? School, it's in for a little while longer. These nades going to be coming out from Game Malaysian, looking to do some damage. Just a bit of a too far of a stretch. They're continuing to barrel out, but it's not getting close to personal coverage just yet. And they've got a nice little setup here. Fosvert at the back, Kofest and Lolwo pushed up front. They want to be able to deal the damage onto this. Higgy's further away, because remember, Zem was taking shots to them as well, but mm. this will allow him to provide cover fire if needed. He gets out in the field. So that Nam kind of has him pinned down, but he should be able to get back over and help his teammates. Kalimdor sitting in here saying, hmm... So, uh, how do I am go? I going to do this? I know there's quite a few players on my side of things here. How do I do this? Shots connected from Lolo. Continuous peaks coming in from Timber. Down to half HP, though. Needs to start getting those meds up. Oh, good damage of that nade. Does force them all back as well. The whole team of Personal Courage is now grouped up. Rip9 getting a kill. Nade's coming out onto Perfectic Six. He's able to get one done. Stella's still bringing more scores to their name. But can they get the finishes here? It's gonna be so crucial for Game of Legion to not only stay alive but get some kills in here as well. Saki getting taken down by Vasco. They're finally making their presence known. Stocked it now on the hilltop. And there, there goes inside games. Not a whole lot more they could do. But for not fair, they've now put themselves up above still. So much fighting going on as Rip9 tries to hold up the entire push from the other side. He's now, though, the only remaining player on his team. And Zoka and Nama are enjoying this from afar, but not fair. Still believe they can get this done. Rip9's had three kills already. Can he get any more done as Northern Lights get eliminated in eighth place? We're up to our top seven teams now. And the teams in the points are Stella, Not Fair, Gamer, Legion. And they're the ones who are really fighting this out for that final spot. Six points out for so many of these teams. This is going to be so tricky. If we see Gamer, Legion and Not Fair in the top, Seek Orc could get eliminated. They're sitting in sixth right now. They could be the team eliminated off of a horrible position here in the final game. That would be such a big surprise to a lot because they were one of the teams in the beginning yeah. of things that was way up top. More shots being fired out here. Eyeball's got the knock. And this is it. Zen's position is just yeah. huge. This, yeah. Wherever you're pushing out, it does not matter. They had it all covered completely here. So good now. I'm trying to hold the top while you have Game of Legion on the south side of things. You see them right here on your screen too. Crapping and Buster might be in position to take shots towards them, but at least for now they have the smokes for cover. 
And Gamer Legion still playing it passive. They know they're in with the points. They're not wanting to give anything up just yet. Mole Man very low on health, but still manages to get the kill onto Krabby. Eight kills coming in for Stella here as well. They're doing everything they possibly can to stay alive in this one. Just make that five points behind Gamer Legion. The Not Fair are eliminated mm -hmm. now as well. So that's one less victim to try and steal your spot. As Bjorn, he gets a knock on the Fosver, but then he's knocked himself. His teammates need to provide the fire. And Molman is now taking shots at them as well. Gamer Legion are pinned down and there is hardly any cover for them to work from and if there's a team you want to eliminate if you're Stella that for sure is going to be Game of Legion believe me if they see a knockdown there they will full focus on them but Mo Man taken down Ooh. and you see Jamboway and 60 they're not nearby Jamboway they will make the run on over I believe it's the first knock for Mo Man so it should be possible to get him back up on his feet Zoken Nob could literally save the day for Game of Legion but they just need to stay alive Hamster taking more shots he's got enough meds to work with here Good nade coming out there. That's huge. Oh what? my god. A three person nade paid. He <laughs> oh Personal what? courage eliminated by Zen. Nades galore. And oh my. 15 what? kills up for the team that is just more than dominating. <laughs> spread out, guys. Please, next time, spread out. That's all I have to say. Not a whole lot more to it than that. One more time. You do it. 60, though. Not able to get the finishing touches down on towards him. Wow, did they just activate red zones in this one or what? Seven's been eliminated, three teams remain. Game of Legion just need to stay alive and stay out of this. They can't afford for Stella to go ahead of them and get a bunch of kills here. Stella, though, in such a nice spot. School's worked out for him, but there's only two players left for Stella. Zoke and Nam, they are going to be the difference maker in this. Who are they going to focus on first? Stella is down five points. The difference between first and second is four. This is gonna be so crazy. Mole Man gets the knock onto Hams. They want to get the finish oh. up too. Not guaranteed yet. Timber down as well now. Bjorn trying to do everything he can to stay put. Still up by a couple of points, and they will get the placement points off of this one too. But down they go. Stella eliminates Game of Legion. They've done it. This is going to be so insanely close. Stella have done it. They got the kills there and the points. You said that the numbers are right of what you just said there, Toby. Holy cow. Right by the wire. The question is can they get any further kills to just ensure? sure it because they probably don't know the maths here would be insane for them to work out Vasco shooting from up high manages to tap one up but you can see it Stella are starting to push forward they are hungry to get this done you cannot focus on the math right now it's all about focusing on the game you've got to win it. you got to play it as if you need the last kill to win it Moleman taking down six in Jamboy called behind the wall this is the soak that now we've been seeing all tournament long so far it's going to be so interesting to see these teams square things up when it comes down to the very very last aspect of things in the final week next week. Vasco, full pull up for him. 16 kills already. Make it 17. They want to get 19, but right now, Stella, they're doing everything they can to get this one. Jamboy, you've got to try and play this smart. You know you need any kills you can get. You've had 11 so far throughout this game in total for your team. There's just you and Sigzi left. Sigzi has been an impeccable player throughout here for Stella. Have they done enough to make sure that they can try and call away? Vasku spots out one, trying to spray it away. Manages to stay alive somehow. Going to use the first aid kit. Jamboy runs out of bullets. He's going to push around. Fires up into him. Can he get it done? Jamboy can't get the finish just yet. Got to be oh so careful. Vasku goes down. Vasku is finished off. This is coming right down to the wire. Two versus three. Jambo is still trying to put the hurt on him, but he's going to be eating circle damage. He can't stay alive, and he will be finished off. Zoken Nam take the final game, and they get 19 <laughs> kills.